and welcome back to Argonaut Mechanical and in today's episode, which will probably only be a short episode, um, we're talking about the bonnet catch on Mark V Golf. Right? And if you bear with me, I'll bring you right back. What we have here is a new bonnet catch, right? Because the previous one had, I don't know if you see the wires down there, a broken sensor. Uh, you will see a cable tie, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, which the bonnet catch connects into in here. Now that wasn't on, you know, so I've only put it on in the last 10 minutes. But what we're actually going to talk about. This catch. Okay. And what we're going to talk about, if I can get this at the right angle, is this part of the catch where it runs. Put this down somewhere. Yeah, sorry about jiggling these about there, right? What we're actually talking about is, I know you just can't see it just now, is this. Is this part of the catch. Right. Now, in an ideal world, that would clip in there and stay in there. And in an ideal world, the other bit would stay in there. Right? Up, like so. There we go. But it doesn't. So, right? because otherwise, what happens is shed cable falls out like that, right? So, my simple cure for this, right? You can see it down there on the ground. My simple cure for this was to put a cable tie from here through this hole, holding the bottom of the cable. It isn't particularly tight. Uh, it's just to hold it up. So that this is in line. And when you pull the bonnet catch, instead of pulling the whole unit away, as you can see at the moment, you can't pull that or push that out of there, right? You can't. I bring you back here with the dirt off the front of the car. I bring you back here and we look in there. You'll see that it's held in place by a cable tie. And it just manages to hold it enough so that so that uh, it holds the cable in place so that the bonnet will work. Now, I'll show you the bonnet working. As you can see, we've got a big long screwdriver on it. Um, it's held in place. Now, I'm going to leave you so watching this. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I'll just sit there. You can see the bonnet catch in place. So you can see my hand also. Right. Now, I shall be back.
you'll have seen that the screwdriver flew off into orbit then. Uh, you'll have seen that the screwdriver flew off into orbit. And if this damn thing will focus, you'll see now the bonnet catch is open. Well, that means the bonnet catch is working. Right, fair enough, I have to tidy up some wires and that. But I will actually show you it opening and shine. Okay. But it works there just now. Which means it should be working. And all the tents is part processes. Works. You see the bonnet lifted there. Well, that's the bonnet catch working. It takes very little to actually lift it up. Um, okay, we're not just shutting the windows. Trim to put back on. Down there. That's down there. That trim. Not very sure about the previous one. I put the bolts. Um, a lot of tools in that to sort out, but hey oh, uh, it's one of those things. Um, put the bonnet cut back on it. Bonnet catch lights now out, all the doors are shut, and all of a sudden the back light was sprung into life. So it's one less job to do. Uh, car needs a good clean inside. You can see it damp, mold, and all that shit. But I've got some stuff there to get rid of it, so. We'll get all that cleaned out. The dash is a bit minging as well. So, two, two tyres on the front to swap. Um, then, uh, two tyres on the front to swap round. The right side to go on the left side, the left side to go on the right side. But all should be good. Anyway, if you like that, leave us a like. Thanks. This has been Ollie Matt Mechanical.